Okay, everyone, let's make some candy cloud slime. It's called candy cloud candy cloud slime because we are going to be making a white slime for once, which we never do. Um, we have our activator here. We have our baking soda and we have our charm i got this one that says sweet everyone got different ones that kind of look like little candies and then we got our little rainbow cloud pieces that are gonna go in these are made of clay and then we have our glue in our container so get all your things out your charm charm your activator your baking soda your whatever this stuff is these rainbow things and of course you are going to need a spoon Okay, so go ahead, gather all of those things and press play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we are gonna wanna open our container. I use two hands, I start on one side, and I slowly lift it up. You wanna make sure you don't open it up sideways like that because the glue is just gonna spill all over. Slowly peel it back. Ta-da! And you wanna save this lid and rinse it off because we are going to be using it to store our slime inside of our container. Okay, so once you get your lid off, you can go ahead and press play again when you're ready. Okay, I have my spoon ready, my lid is off, I'm gonna open up my baking powder, I mean my baking soda. Baking soda and baking powder are two different things. And then I'm just gonna pour it all in, the whole thing. This is a tablespoon. And then we're just gonna mix it all in. Keep going till there's no more chunks left. See, it's white, so it's hard to see, but just keep going for at least a minute. Okay, go ahead, press pause, add in your baking soda, and stir it in. Okay, mine is good and stirred in. I don't need to take my spoon out. I can just leave it in there while I get my next ingredient ready. Okay, so now we are going to be adding this, which is like a really strong activator. So you want to open the lid like this, and we only want to pour in half. Okay, so that means not the whole thing. If you pour the whole thing in, you'll probably have over-activated slime. I always like to add extra in case you spill it, or maybe you might need some extra for something. I don't know. I always just put extra. So you're going to put about half in. Put the cap back on so you don't spill your activator over. And then you're just gonna slowly stir it. And I can see it's already starting to become the slime texture. See, I just put in half and I think that might even be enough already. Okay, we're gonna keep stirring it. We're gonna scrape the edges like this. Oh yeah, I think that was enough and that was maybe less than half. So just pour in a little bit at a time. And keep stirring it, keep stirring it for at least two minutes. Okay, go ahead, press pause, only add in a little bit of your activator. If you're worried about pouring too much, pour it into the cap first, like this. Pour it into the cap first, a little bit in there and then pour it in, so that way you won't worry about adding too much. Okay, so go ahead, add that in and start stirring it. But before you press pause, watch how I'm gonna do this, just so it doesn't turn into a sticky disaster after you add the activator in. Or if it's all over your hands and then you can't press play. So watch what I'm gonna do first. Once you've mixed it really good and it's kind of pulling away from the sides like that, it should be pulling away from the container, you can kind of poke it to test it. If you're, if it sticks a lot in like this, then you probably need a touch more activator. But if it kind of pulls away clean like that, but it's just a little bit sticky, it's probably ready to pick it up. So you can have an adult or a friend or someone help you get it in your hands, or you can just grab it out like that. I grab it and twist it like that. Awesome. And then it's gonna be all over my hands like this kind of scary but then I'm just gonna keep squishing it together twisting it and mixing it and see the more I mix it I did not need to add more activator sometimes you think if it's sticky right away 
You just want to throw in that activator, but we don't want to do that. So there we go. Keep mixing it until it's not sticking to your fingers. If it's still sticking to your fingers a lot, make sure you've mixed it enough before you add in more activator. And there we go. We have a really good stretchy cloud slime. Okay, perfect. All right, go press pause and make your slime. If it gets overactivated, you could like run it under water or something, but try your best not to over activate it. Okay, and once it's all mixed together, put it back in your container like that and press play for the next step. Once your slime is all put together, we can now add in our charms and decorations. So I'm just gonna open up my clouds Pour it on top, my rainbow clouds, I should say. Just like that, these are so cute. And then I'm gonna add my little charm in. All right, so go ahead, press pause, add in your accessories, and press play when you're ready. All right, now my slime is all done. If you have extra activator, you could make more. If you have glue already, you just need a bit of baking soda and add that. So here's my slime, once you have your things in it, and mix it up. So it should look kind of something like this. Nice and stretchy. If it's a little harder to pull, that's okay. Leave it sitting for a, a few days without it being touched and then it'll soften up again. If it's still too sticky, you can add a bit of activator on your hands, kind of rub it in like lotion, so then uh, it won't stick as much. And if you're a little kid, maybe you do want to overactivate it a little bit so it's easier to play with. Okay, uh, before we go, I'm gonna show you a little trick. You can get any straw, put it inside your slime, seal up the slime around the edges. See where the slime meets the straw? Seal it up like that and then just blow out. And you can make some really cool slime bubbles. This is one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes I have contests with the other girls here and we see who can blow the biggest bubble. And there you go, there you have it, slime. This is my favorite thing ever. I hope you guys had lots of fun today and you get to play with your slime. Make sure you don't put it on your pets or put it on your couch or your bed or, you know, lots of kids get in trouble with slime. So treat it good. If you want it to last a long time, make sure you put the lid on really tight and store it in a, and store it in a nice, cool, dark place. And there you have it. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.